Hey, good day, folks. Beer here. Um, just wanted to show you me technique I worked out for speed matching trains, locos, whatever. Uh, where it come from is I like to have the throttle display on the ECOS showing as kilometres. So when I twiddle knobs, that says 70 kilometres, the train is going to go 70 kilometres an hour, like scale speed. Then I realised, hang on, if I set them all at the same top speed and calibrate it, they're all going to be speed matched. And lo and behold, guess what happened? They're all perfect. Now, what the real asset in this little scenario is one of these babies. I mean, shut the gate on this one, Maxie. She's the duck's guts. These things are brilliant. Get yourself one if you want to do any sort of speed matching. Don't muck around with tape measures times time and stuff just go for it they are brilliant right up. that's enough of you now we shall i'll show you the train i'm going to do right now <clears throat> okay the train i'm doing just roco uh, db181 i think it is and i have fitted it with a lens decoder it is a standard plus v2 let's see that uh, numbers 1023102. Very good chip. I'll get them from Germany to Australia for about 30 bucks each. So, yeah, very good. So, right, eh? let's get into it. Okay, first thing we've got to do is set up the train. So, we go to Edit Loco, and I run mine on DCC 28. So, I get 28 defined steps which match up to the CV 67 and 94. So the exact figure in the CV is the exact figure applied to the train. There's no algorithms or, oh, I don't know how fast I'll go. So yeah, right, let me go to properties, go to the speedo tab, I suppose. I set mine for speed and I like 168 kilometers an hour because that is 6 times 28 so I get 6 kilometers for every speed step just nice and neat and no errors so okay we go out of that now first thing run the train flat out okay our first speed 236 way too fast so we'll just jump in edit and we need to go to setup 2 we want to program on main I've got my address 18 I'm after CV 94 so if I click read I get 255 way too fast so we'll knock that down we'll go to 200 and write oh I heard it slow down hundred and sixty eight for two hundred that'll do okay now we need CV 67 which is the speed step one in this case it says three so we adjust the train down up to speed step one takes a while 3.5 too slow so we'll go to here and we'll go up two. bring the train back and we look at our speedo yep. there we go just to get a bit closer there we go one If 
5.3 we might go up one more so there we go 6 now reverse train back again. Go. Come on. There we go. Six point two, that's close enough. Right yeah, what we do now then is since the train is on my programming track, we jump to JMRI. Now that's the default speeds table. So what I want to do is read full sheet. Flick the programming switch. And you can see there's the six we put in. These should all be the same. It's only we only adjust first and the last. We see there's our 200 we put in. What I'll do then is click on match ends and what it does is make a nice straight line between our known readings. So it gives us a very linear speed curve. Now that we've done that we do write changes on sheet Okay, and there's our new speed curve. So let's go back and give the train a run and see how she matches up. Okay, I like to uh, I like to run my trains at 120 usually, so that's a critical one. We can check that CV individually. It's CV 86. Hundred and eighteen. So she's a bit cool. Let her do one more lap to warm up. You've got to let the engines warm up properly, do even three or four laps. Then their speed settles out, settles down. Hundred and nineteen. That's pretty close to a hundred and twenty for me, so yep. I'll call that a success. We'll go back to 102 and see what we get. 102. There you go. And that's how you do it, folks. Just simple as that. Wind you down. Um, yeah, just Dakota Pro. Get your top and bottom CV uh, speed steps matched with the AccuTrack. Do a match ends, line it up, write it. You can, if you like, do every CV individually. You end up with a near perfect speed cur curve, less than 1% error. But, yeah, this is pretty good. And because all the speed steps are matched in between every train, they're all, I can set them all to one speed step and they'll just behave and consist beautifully. So there you go.